And now, delivering the best entertainment on the radio, 106.6 K-Dog FM brings you another packed hour with Johnny Rice. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be continuing our series on here, 106.6 K-Dog Radio, with yours truly, Johnny Rice, with our Celebrity Rehab Series, which has been a constant hit over the past couple weeks. And if you have or have not been paying attention, we brought along a couple really big names. So you can see, clearly we've had a lot of success and a lot of... Uh, questions from our viewers as to try and get some more people to try and call in. So we're actually going to have a couple more visitors today, and it appears right now we have a caller right now. Uh, caller, uh, what's your name and what are you calling for? Hello, this is Arnold Schwarzenegger, the governor of California. Oh, governor, how are you doing there? How's it going uh, life in the Cali? It's not good. I don't know if you knew this. But it's really hard to keep up your body when you have it at a certain point. And after I started going down into politics, people believed my body wouldn't hold up anymore. So I started using body-enhancing drugs. Uh, Governor, if I'm not mistaken, are you talking about steroids? Yes, I'm talking about steroids. I can't help it. It's really difficult to keep your body up in that shape. And then I can't help it with this... I'm working really hard to try not to be at that point anymore. But I did, I need to hire so many people. I, I, okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Governor, 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 Governor. You, can, you need to calm down, buddy. There's a lot of viewers. You're going to scare a lot of people. I can't help it. You know, it's one of those things which just, it, it builds up. And it's just like, I just want to break something at some certain point after I use it. Uh, Governor, are you a, uh, are you aware with the uh, certain thing that goes with steroids? Uh, it's called roid rage. Of course I've had road rage. Have you ever driven in Los Angeles traffic before? It's crazy. I can't handle it. Uh, no, sir. I mean, uh, roid as in steroids. You know, we're going to go ahead. We're going to send a guy your way, and we're going to go ahead and recommend that you drop down on the puffiness. So thanks for calling in, Governor. Thank you, but you didn't really help me. What am I supposed to do? Everything will be all right. All right. Well, that was uh, interesting. Kind of flattered. Politician slash great actor of uh, many great action movies. All right, listeners, we're going to go ahead and take a brief commercial break, but whenever we come back, we're going to have some more celebrities on the way for your viewing pleasure. Have you ever wondered why people aren't buying your stuff at an antique store when they should be? What's the matter with your Vietnam War Memorial stuff? Hi, I'm Johnny Carson's brother, Billy Ray Carson, coming from the Rustin Antique Shop. What's the matter with your gear? Ain't nothing wrong with it here. I'll go ahead and buy it off you. Did you get it from your grandmother? I don't care. Did you steal it from a guy at a garage sale? I'll take it for half off. Come on down to Johnny Carson's brother's Billy Ray Carson's Rustin Antique Shop and sell your stuff today. Billy Ray Carson's Rusted Antique Shop can be found on Route 88, right next to the Marlboro Chew Factory. Alright, welcome back listeners. We're going to continue on our series here, the 106.6 K-Dog with Johnny Rice here is your main mix master going on. We're continuing on our celebrity series with the rehab going on. Oh, and we've had this one on the line. He actually called in several times. We're going to go ahead and give him a call. Caller, uh, go ahead. Why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us what's up? Oh, hey, uh, Johnny Rice. How are you? I'm, how are you doing? Mr. Walken, is that you? Oh, pl- pl- please, call me Chris. It's a fur. You gotta finish the name. It sounds more professional that way. It's nice. I like it. But I got a problem. Lay it on me, guy. I mean, for a while, anytime I talk, I, I just apparently... 
I don't do it right. That's what people tell me. And I don't think there's anything wrong. The way I talk, the way I talk is how I am. And people just try to use it against me. I went to speech therapy. They try to make me read books. This ought to be good. What kind of books do they make you read, Rare uh, Christopher? Dr. Seuss! He's a great writer, but still, how long can you talk about feet? I swear this guy must be Quentin Tarantino or Rex Ryan or something. This guy sounds like one feet, two foot, three feet. I don't know. Who has three feet? Nobody. She can't write about that. That's not accurate. And at the end of every sentence, they have these things, these weird dots and squiggles and stuff. I don't even know what they are. Uh, Mr. Walken, I believe those are periods and commas. They're pretty, pretty important for uh, articulately speaking. I, I guess I got to work on that. I don't know. But needless to say, I think I have a good thing going. It's got me pretty far. But thank you, Johnny. Nice. Best DJ on the radio. I'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you very much. Well, that was, again, a quick and interesting call. Um, I did not realize that Christopher Walken hates Dr. Seuss, but, you know, find out something new every day. Well, we're, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take another commercial break. Uh, yeah, we'll take a commercial break. And then what I'm told is that we have a special, very special guest coming on at the very end of the show. So listeners, go ahead and stick on stick on by. And we're going to keep up this going on 106.6 K-Dog Radio with Johnny. Johnny boy here. <laughs> 